Hi guys, my name's Rachel and I'm taking you through a flow workout today. So you just need yourself, a mat if you've got one, and a little bit of space to move. And we're going to move through some different yoga postures, some strength postures, some flexibility work to just get the body moving. So if you're ready, let's start with a little warm up. Take a deep breath, arms to sky. Now two little squats, sit back. Let's do that again. Raise the arms up. Inhale. Two little squats. So heels are down. Two more times. Raise the arms up. As you sit back, heels are down. One more time. Lift up. And squat. Perfect. Inhale, arms to sky. Now dive down into a forward fold. So hinge from the hips and feel the legs lengthening. Just let the body fold over the legs. Rest the head down. Okay, from here, bend the knees, make a ball. So lift the heels up off the floor. Hug your hands around your knees. So we're just rounding through the spine. Heels up if you can. Now roll your body weight back up. Take the feet a bit wider, plie, drop down and lift. So we're going to use some big dynamic movements to get the body nice and warm. Four more, drop down, lift up, perfect. Now turn this toe forward, take this leg out, a warrior, side lunge. So we're taking a little bend over the right side. The knee is tracking the toe. Four more here. Retract the shoulders down the spine. Two more. Now stay here, coming to bring the elbow to the knee and bring that left arm to a stretch. Lengthen the fingertips to the corner of the room. Bring that arm up. Come up and in the front leg. This hand is just going to lower down into a triangle and back up. As we lift back up, think about engaging the core here. So we have to think about lifting the body weight up with the waist. And every time the hand comes down, sink that bit lower into that stretch. Change, feet up, up, feet up, hands up, into plie. Turn the toes out. <clears throat> Maybe sink a bit deeper than last time. Pull down, think about shoulder blades. Meeting together at the back. We have our left side, side warrior, this side, we go. Drop and lift, knees over ankle, drawing the shoulders back, lifting the chin, lifting the chest. Four more, three, two more. Now let's stay in that warrior. Drop the elbow to the knee, take the right arm or this arm all the way over. Lengthen to the corner of the room again. Feel that beautiful stretch through the waist and the back. Nice deep breathing, bring the hand to the sky. Shift the hips back, lower this hand, down for two, and lift. As you come back up, have the ear and the elbow connect at the top. Good, one more, we're gonna go around that one more time. Both feet forward, arms to sky, plie, hold there. Maybe we can sit a bit deeper than last time. Draw the elbows down to the ribs. Four more. Three, two, one. Good, let's turn over this leg. Side warrior. Maybe we can drop a bit deeper into that now. Now any of these postures, any of these positions I ask you to get in today, only do it is right for you. If you've got any injuries, any health conditions, make sure you work into your own ability. Hold here, elbow down, and lengthen from the foot that's on the floor to the finger that's in the sky. Sink this knee lower. Stretch, four more, three, bring this hand up, straighten the front leg, let's drop, down for two, and lift two, connect, breathe, squeeze the core, now I'm going to ask you to stay in the stretch this time, so where you feel that's comfortable for you, we might be here, we might be able to put the hand on the ankle, keep this top hand up towards the sky. If you can, turn your head to look. Four more. Good job, guys. Three. 
to your wings and push back up into that warrior. We're going to take the hand down and this hand high, keeping in this bend. Now we're introducing a reverse warrior, so hands to scan, head gazing towards the fingers and now feeling that opening through the ribs. Release, come back to me, hands up, plie, pull down. Good, so right from the top, back into those deep squats. Four more here. Drop down and lift. Good job. Two more. Now turn over that left side. Side warrior, we know it. Bend. The legs are getting nice and warm now. Heart rate should be increasing gently as well. Just moving the body. Two more. Stay down here. Drop the elbow. Bring this hand all the way over. Reach to the corner. Stretch through the foot to the fingers in the sky. Good, lengthen. Bend in the knee lower if you can. Now bring this hand up. Straight in the front leg. Let's lower this hand. Down for two. And hinge back up for two. Maybe edging just that little bit lower every time. We're going to stay in the stretch. So stay where you're comfortable. If you want to, turn the head to look at the hand. Feel that gorgeous stretch through the inner thigh on that front leg. Okay, just hold and breathe. Four more. Three. Push back up to warrior one here. And then continue. Take the arms over your head. Bend that front knee. And as we bend into the knee, we're going to lean over the back. We've got one more round. Come up, turn the feet forward, take the arms overhead, you know it. Three in, pull down. Sinking deep. Good job. Four more. Think about the hips open here. Knees over toes. Turn this way into our warrior. Remember to pivot this back leg. Drop and push back, building the strength, building the heat in the leg. Shoulders are back. Chest is lifted. And we're breathing. Take the elbow to the knee. Take the opposite arm all the way over. Now if you want to progress this, the bottom hand can come down to the ankle or to the foot. The top hand can come up. Good. Now from here, push that front leg straight. Lower to triangle. Move into the stretch and lift. Again, lower down, lift up, two more. Good, stay down in that stretch, hold here. Turning the head to look at the hand, put in the body, four more. Three, now if you want another progression, we're gonna take this top hand. We're gonna wrap it around the front leg. We're gonna take the bottom hand around our back. If this is too much, if you need to just allow this knee to bend a little, that's okay. But you are looking to straighten the leg. When I'm asking you to hold in any of these stretches, use breath. In through the nose. Out through the nose. And if it's not right for you, please don't do it. Bend the knee. Push back into warrior one. Take the arm over your head. Reach to the sky. Lengthen the back hand further down the thigh at the back. Bend the knee and lean back. Four more, three, two, release back up, take both feet wide, arms up, you know it, plie, last round on the other side, can we sink lower, let's go, four more, drop down, rise up, lovely, two more, turn over this side, and side warrior, bend, lift back, driving the heel to the floor, down. Blowing through these movements. Elbow to knee. Hand comes over. Reach to the corner. Now any of the progressions you can leave out and you can stick with what we've got. Progression for this. Top hand rises. Bottom hand comes lower. Sink deeper into that stretch. Head to look if you want. Okay, push up from here, straight in the front leg. Breathe, lower. Down for two. 
and lift. Work the waist as we come up. Good job. Two more. Lower down. We're going to stay in that triangle. So stay down here. Turn the head to look and hold. If you want that final progression, the top hand is going to come round. Wrap round the foot. Bottom hand round your back. And we're easing into that front leg, keeping the front leg as straight as you can. Four more. Three. Now bend the knee, push back up to warrior one. Warrior three, reverse, reverse, bend the knee. Sink in, we take the arm overhead. Wow. Gorgeous stretch. Four more. Three. Return to warrior one. And both feet inhale, arms up. Now we're going to finish this first section with a forward fold with the legs wide to hinge from the hips. Sink low, rest the head down and keep your legs as straight as you can. Head is tucked under. Now remember in these deep stretches we breathe. If you want to move through the stretch, we can rise and lower. Lift in and easing back. If not, you're staying where you are. We're gonna hold here eight more counts. Come lower if you can. Straighten legs, eight, seven, six. Make the most of this while the legs are lovely and warm. Four more, three. Now take your time to rise up. Bend the knees, place the hands on the knees, round through the lower back. Slowly, head coming up last. Taking our time. How are we feeling? Hopefully a little bit warmer. So section one, done. We're gonna move into the second section of the class. I'm gonna introduce some sun salutations. Whether you're new to sun salutations or you've been doing them all your life, I'm gonna go back to basics and guide you through. And you're gonna choose the level that's gonna work for you. Okay guys, come ahead and stand at the top of your mat. Take a deep breath, inhale, arms to stand. Now we're going to hinge from the hips and come into a forward fold. As we do that, feel the body, fold over the legs and the hamstrings lengthen. You want to keep these legs as straight as you can. Now, little half lift. I'm going to lift to a tabletop back. As I do that, I press my legs as straight as possible. Now bend the knees and make that fall that we practice right in the warm up. So we're rounding through the back. Okay, push the sky, stand up, let's do that again. Inhale. As you do that, we can arch that back extension, forward fold now, and hinge from the hips. Fold the body over the legs, feel the back of the legs in that stretch. Come to half lift, tabletop back, straighten the legs, engage the core. Hands to the floor, bend the knees, allow the heels to rise up. Okay. Roll back up. We're going to go one more time before we move on. Back up. Roll the shoulders back. Lift the chin. Lift the chest. Inhale. We can come to back extension as we inhale if you want to. Not if you don't. Forward fold. Let's go half lift now. Flat back. Bend the knees. Now stay here. Step back into a plank position. In this plank position, hands are under the shoulders. Rolling the shoulders back. Drawing your abs. If this is too much, drop to the knees. Let's warm up the arms, guys. Tricep push up. Down for two. And lift for two. Now I want you to push the floor away through the heel of your hands. Draw the tummy in with the elbows to the back of the room. Good. Four more. We're fully warm in the shoulders. Fully warm in the arms. Just do one more, actually because we're going to sit back into a child pose and stretch. Take the weight back. Allow the feet and knees to be wider than the hips so you can sit back. Walk the fingers away. Head rest down and we lengthen and we stretch the knee the back. Allowing the armpits to fall towards the mat. Now watch this first. I'm going to roll and slide my nose along the mat. Then I'm going to push into an up dog. Watch again. I sit back into that child pose I slide along I use that tricep push up we just practice and I lift to an up dog if this is not okay for you don't come as high drop to elbows 
instead if you need to. Okay, let's go together. Sit back. Four, three, two. Slide along and lift up. Do that again. We are mobilizing. We are warming through the lower back. Slide along and lift the sky. One more time. Now, if you're more experienced in this, you can lift the legs off the mat and come onto the front of the feet. If that's not okay for you, please don't feel you've got to do it. Head to start. We are now lengthening the front of the body. Drop back to knees. Shift your body weight back onto all fours. To the toes under, crouching down dog. It looks like this. Lift for two and lower back for two. So when I do that, I push my hips to the sky and I push my heels as close to the floor as I can. Keep that going. Four more, let's go. Lift, push back and lower. Every time, trying to connect the heels to the mat that little bit closer. Two more. Okay, last one, we're gonna stay there. The hips to the sky, push the weight through the heels. Head tucks under, looks towards the knees, flatten off the back, tabletop back, try not to round. If your heels are not in contact with the floor, do not worry. If you're more here, we're just gonna progress. We're gonna get there. But you don't worry if you're not there yet. Okay, I want you to bend the knees, make a ball. Now I want you to step the feet to the front of the mat and roll your way back up. We're gonna connect the moves that we've just learned into our first sun salutation. If you want to watch first, you are more than welcome. Okay, I'm going to take the arms up, inhale. I'm going to dive to that forward fold and lengthen through the hamstrings. I'm going to come into half lift, flat back. Draw the abs in, hands go down. I'm going to step back to plank. I'm going to keep the neck, the core, try to push up chaturanga. Lift to up dog. I push through, eyes to sky. Now I took my toes under, lift a down dog. Push the weight through the heels, flatten off the back. Now I'm going to bend the knees. Step the feet back to the top, on curl. And at the top, I'm going to hold with a little squat. Keep my body moving, keep the body flowing. We're going to connect that again. If you need longer, or you want to move faster, that's fine. Inhale, arms sky, lift up. Join the fingers, I down, forward fold. Half lift, flat back. Hands down. Step back. Draw the abs in. Ready? Dive down, tricep push up, chaturanga. Lift it up, dog, turning the toes under. Thighs can be on the floor or lifted. Toes under, move to down dog. Hips to sky. Breathe. Now if you want to, if you're more adventurous, bend the knees and hop. Squat. Or you're stepping. Woo! Good job. How are we doing? Four more squats. Let's go. Four. Keeping that body moving the way it's designed to. From the top. Inhale. Lift. Dive. Forward fold. Hamstring stretch. Half lift now, flat back. Bend the knees. Let's step back. Settle here. Try some push up. If you need to drop to knees and lift to the elbows or thighs up. Toes under now, lift it down dog. Perfect. Now I've got a surprise for you. We're going to stay in here. Take the right leg in the air for single leg down dog. So I'm going to raise the leg to the sky. You're going to push that heel even further towards the floor. So we're not going to allow that heel to lift, just to lift the leg. Hold and breathe. Now the leg that's in the air, I'm going to swing that through to my hand and come to a low lunge. So I place this foot by this hand and I'm pulsing. I'm moving all the time. Team, if you need to drop that back knee, do it. Now we're going to add a rotation. This hand is going to turn away from me and we're going to twist to the sky. Four more. Three. Two. Now drop your knee, bring the hand down. Come, to, uh, come up right 
and from here we're going to push the hips forward so we open through the hip flexors. If you can, as we do that, hands to the sky, clasp the hands at the top, elbows by your ears and sink further forward. Lovely stretch through the hip flexors. Good job guys. Okay, hands come down, back to the mat, we'll raise up onto that toe, pulse in that low lunge one more time. Now connect the back foot to the top, on curl, round up. Are you with me? Squat, sit back. We're going from the beginning on the other side. Sun salutation, arms up, inhale. Dive, forward, fold, lengthen down. Half lift, flat back. Hands down, step back. Hold here, drop into knees if you need to. Tricep push up, lower. Lift it up, dark. Head to the sky, lengthen, four. Three, toes on the lift the down, dark. Push the weight through the heels. Open it up now. Ready? For single leg down dog. Take the left leg in the air. Single leg, push the heel to the floor. Breathe. If you don't like this, stay normal down dog, please. Well done, guys. Now swing that leg through to your hand. Place it on the floor and pulse. Opening the hip flexors. Drop the knee down if you need to. Just try and get this foot as near the hand as you can. Take the arm to the sky. Good. Drop that back knee. Take the arms to the sky. Now push the hips further forward. Gaze to the ceiling if you can. Open through the hip flexors. Keep going. Four. Three. Hands come down. Back into that low lunge. Just pulse. Hold. Four. Three. Two, bring that back foot in, on curl and squat. One more time through, we're gonna flow a little bit quicker. You with me? Hope so. Last time, arms up. Dive forward, forward. Half lift, flat back. Hands down, step back to back. Drop to knees if you need to. Now, tricep push up, dive into that old dog. Lift, toes up, head to sky. Four, three, toes up, then lift the hips. Weight through the heels. Take the right leg in the air, single leg down dog. Four, three, swing that leg through to low lunge. Pulse. Now twist the arm. Now drop the knee, hands to sky. Four, three, well done, hands back down, lift the back toe if you can, pulse, open, four, three, back foot into front, on curl, take your time, these squats are here if you've got time, if you're still getting up, that is absolutely fine, you miss out the squats, one more time from the beginning, last one, inhale, go down, See if you can get lower than you have done now. Half lift. Hands down. Step back. Prepare. Chaturanga. Up, down. Hold you and lift. Draw the shoulder blades down the spine. Toes under. Down, dark. Push the heels to the floor. Flatten off the back. Left leg in the air, please. Now swing that leg through and pulse, four. Now open the arm and twist. Now drop the back knee, arms to the sky, pulse, four. Well done, you with me, two more. Hands come down, lift that back toe, pulse, four. Two more, two more. Bring the back foot in, on curl, squat if you can, four. Low. Three. Hey, two more. Guys, well done. Inhale, one more, please. Exhale. Fold your body over your legs. Rest the fingertips on the floor. Just breathe. Now bend the knees. Hands to floor. Step back. 
Drop to the knees and come to that child pose we've practiced before. Resting the head down, walking the fingers away. Now just rise up, thread one arm through and then sit back. So you're stretching through the shoulder and into the top of the back. Pushing your bottom as far back as you can in the mat. Let's change the legs. Coming up, opposite hand threads through. So this hand through, drop the shoulder into the floor, walk the fingers further away. Coming up from here, we're going to finish this class on our backs. Turn over, lay on your back. We've got one last stretch to finish. Guys, lengthen the body, take the hands over the head. Close your eyes, take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out through the nose. Do that one more time, fill the lungs, feel the ribcage move up and out. Exhale, feel the ribcage move back down. Take the arms out to the side, draw the heels up to your bottom and drop the knees down to one side. Connecting the shoulder blades on the floor. Just relax. Feel that stretch opening through the hips and the lower back. If you can, the top leg is going to go up and across. Twist to the side. Now bring the knee back to centre. The leg you just had across. Bring it into your chest for a hamstring stretch. So holding behind the thigh, straighten the leg as much as you can. So the leg is as straight as you can, resting the head down. And then I want you to use that breath to gently ease the leg in closer. So nice deep breath in through the nose and out through the nose. And let's just work on seeing how deep we can get into this stretch. If the leg starts to shake or you can feel that tension too much, just ease back. We want to guide the leg in. We want development, so we want to see if we can push, but we don't want to take it too far. Okay, let's rest that down. Draw the heels to the bottom, take the arms back out, and drop the knees down to the opposite side. Take that top leg up and across if you want to. Towards the fingers, making sure that opposite shoulder is still in contact with the floor. Now bring the knees back to centre. That knee comes into the chest. Hold behind the thigh and straighten the leg as much as you can up to the sky. Deep breaths. In through the nose. Excuse me. <coughs> Out through the nose. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, relax. Use the legs as a lever. Come up to sit in. Turn to face the front. Just place the soles of your feet together and push down on the knees. So this is just going to ease into the inner thigh. If you would like a stronger stretch, we can take our feet out wide and we can push from behind. Making sure we keep our bodies nice and lengthened so we don't want to be rounded here. We want to be sitting tall. Okay, just walking the fingers further out. Or if you've got your feet together, pushing the elbows down onto the knees just that little bit more. sitting, just sitting comfortably, cross leg or legs out in front, take one hand down and reach up to the sky, as you do that, take the hand over and stretch through the waist, let's change that, the hand comes down, bring the hand over, okay let's just move that from side to side, movement back into the spine, just flowing from each side, Try to get a little bit deeper every time, dropping down onto the elbow, reaching over. One more, guys. Now relax. Circle the shoulders up. Take a deep breath. Arms to sky. Join the hands at the top, bring them down in front of your face. And give yourselves a clap. Thank you ever so much for joining me for this flow session. As always, please let me know how you found the glass. And I will hopefully see you again in a class real soon. Thanks, guys.